more of a um, kangaroo-like rat uh, or kangaroo-like uh, rodents of, of how they struck, uh, how the, the the anatomy is structured. Um, they are, they are mostly nocturnal. You only see them at night. Um, next we get into the flying fox. Oh no, sorry, the, the flying uh, lemurs. Uh, they are gliders. They they have these per like these excess skin that they have as a, as a way to glide to tree to tree or just you know hit the ground basically. Um, there's only two species of it. Um, there are the 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 uh, yeah fine lemur. And the sauna flying lemur. Uh, they can find these things. Um, don't know, but they, they, you can find these in Asia. Now, the trees, the tree shrews are pretty interesting. Uh, as, as I look at their facts. Um, tree shrews are, are more, more closely related to primates than they are with, uh, just shrews in, in general. They are an insectivore. Female generate period, uh, of 45 to 50 days. And they gave birth to up to at least three youngs, which is... That's the max that they can go. Um, and here are the, the few species called the Born, uh, Bornean tree shrew, Northern smooth tree shrew, the Golden Valley tree shrew, striped tree uh, shrew. The common tree shrew, the pygmy tree, uh, tree shrews, the painted tree shrews, and the large tree shrews. Um, this video is kind of short. I don't know why, but I just want a lot of it more. Um, on a few of the rodents, let's check out the beaver really quick. Let's see here. Now, everybody knows about the beavers, okay? They're, they're found in North America. Uh... Some very large. There's the there's there's a Asian beaver from Eurasia. Beavers are known to be building dams, canals, and lodges as a home. They are the second largest rodent in the world after the carp. Uh, their colonies create one or more dams to provide still deep water to protect against predators and to float food and building materials. It is pretty interesting. Um, trying to see if there's any more facts. I know there's a skeletal of it, the complete skeleton of a beaver. Uh, I wish I can show you show you it or something like that, but 
Uh, maybe next time. I, I may have to test something out, but just want to hear me speak. <laughs> um, let me see here. Now, the, the North American and the Eurasian beavers are the only existent members of the family of beavers. Okay. I know, as I said, the, um, the mom beaver, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, North American beavers ha have four, while the Eurasian beavers have 48. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Um, the Eurasian beaver was nearly hunted to extinction in Europe, both for fur and for the heck, uh, tassidum or something like that. It's like a, I don't know, some, some type of thing. A uh, circulation from its scent gland the lead to have medical principles. I don't know why, but, but yeah. We have North American beavers living in North Carolina as well. Uh, basically, their habitat, uh, stream beds, um, Basically, uh, I'm trying to see here. Anyway, that, well, it does have some information on it, but try not to cram that. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about the. Yeah. And, and they are pretty interesting, uh, mind you. In fact, they have quotes. These old world, uh, uh, Porcupine, they can range over south of Europe, uh, most of Africa, India, uh, and southeastern Asia, and basically, they're quite different, they're, although they're not closely related, which is pretty interesting. Uh, they have a lot of quills and they hurt. They're typically overworse eating fruits, roots, uh, buds. Um, mm, gut of dry bones, perhaps as a source of calcium. Never know. Um, they're actually. They can produce one or two or rarely three young are born. Addiction e to 100, depending on the species. Female give birth only once a year. Hear that? Once a year. Uh, Let's see here. Number one is the crested porcupine, which is they got the most heaviest quills that they can, or the largest quills that they, that they have. Um, there's the Malaysian porcupine, 
There's the Sana porcupine. There's the Cape porcupine, the Crested porcupine, the Indian porcupine, um, thick spined porcupine, uh, the Philippine porcupine, the Sumatra porcupine. They got the African bush tailed porcupine. Uh, your Asian bush porcupine and the large tailed porcupine which have again very long oh, sorry the long tail porcupine they have very long tails um this species can have um now the world uh the new world porcupine is a lot different uh they have quills covering their fur they uh, inhabited forests and wooded uh, regions across North America into Northern South America. Again, they are quite different. They're not related to each other for some reason. I don't know why. Um, So we got the uh, the bristle spine rats, which is pretty pretty good looking. Uh, let's see, bicolored spine porcupine, we can, which you can find this in uh, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. Uh, the striped dwarf porcupine. Find this in lowlands of eastern Ecuador. Maybe present in Peru. Not sure. Uh, the black tailed hairy dwarf porcupine. You can find it in Brazil, Colombia, Ecuador, French Ghana, Guyana, Suriname. And Venezuela. The Mexican hairy dwarf porcupine. You can find this in uh, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Panama, Mexico, Nicaragua, and Belize. The black dwarf porcupine, you can find it uh, usually northern Brazil. The Brazilian porcupine. Again, you can find this in Brazil, Argentina, Venezuela, the Guyanas, Bolivia, Trinidad, and with a single record from Ecuador. Pretty amazing. I tell you. The Annie porcupine, which is a uh, heard of, in my opinion. They live in the Andes of Ecuador. Um, and lastly, the North American porcupine, also known as the Canadian porcupine or the common porcupine, uh, which is the largest, uh, the large rodent in the New World porcupine family. And I'll tell you, I think, hold on, let me see here. I think you can find this. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you can find this in the gray area. Probably, I'll say, gosh, is there any more information about this? They usually find this in the gray area. California, Arizona, Washington, Oregon, the Canadian, um, Alaska, you can find this like uh, Minnesota, part, parts of North, North Dakota, parts of 
don't know, Tennessee. Looks like West Virginia and uh, New York up, like all the way up. Um, but you can find these. <coughs> Their queries are pretty sharp in that they uh, pierce right through your skin deep. And also, they have a. <coughs> <coughs> oh, so they stink. They uh, they really have a strong order to them to warn off predators, which is uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, but we're getting we're close to the end here. <coughs> 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 Yeah. Woo. Now, uh, for the rodents, uh, you can keep some as a pet, uh, as a pet, such as hamsters, guinea pigs, uh, rats, and mice. Uh, you can find this at the pet store, uh, Petco, PetSmart. <laughs> 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 You can buy these. Um, yeah, and you can really, really find these uh, in pet stores. Um, let's see. There's a lot of species of squirrels. That you can find all. <laughs> it's all over the place, man. I tell you, uh, squirrels are in their status. Uh, uh, the gray squirrels are at least concerned because they reproduce like crazy. Uh, now the, the the squirrel family includes the tree squirrels, ground squirrels, chipmunks. Um. More dots, including woodchucks, flying squirrels, and prairie dogs. Uh, colonies in America, Eurasia, Africa uh, were introduced by humans to Australia, which is pretty amazing. And they are mostly uh, mostly related to mountain beavers, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, so squirrel may eat it once or twice a year following a donation period of three to six weeks, give birth to a number of offspring that varies by species, which is pretty interesting. That's why in the fall. We see squirrels making their nests, getting ready for the winter. Um, they are they are the southern. Uh, there's like a few species uh, that I can name. They got the uh, grizzly giant squirrel, the southern flying squirrel. The unstriped ground squirrel, the Indian palm squirrel, the eastern gray squirrel, which you can find eastern United States almost. Um, let's see here. True squirrels, um, flying squirrels. Palm squirrels, territorial squirrels, spiny squirrels. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, so I think that's all I got. Uh, there's an American red squirrel too. I never noticed. Okay. Oh, that's right. The fox squirrel, also known as the Eastern, Eastern fox squirrel. Um, which is highly the most mistakable 
uh, squirrel than the gray squirrel. It, it's almost alike, but it's not alike. And I really, really find it uh, in North in North Carolina. So, yeah. Damn, that's all, that's all I got for today, folks. Um, I wish I could do something better. Um, but, you know, when, when, when times come, you know, I, I, I'll make better videos than this. So, again, I thank God for watching, and uh, I'll see you again later.